do you hit live knowing I'm talking about that? You want the ratings. That's what you want. <laughs> uh-huh. Of course. Uh-huh. Of course. And uh-huh. it's eight. I got to start on time because you guys know I always love being on time. Yeah, right. Yes, Jason. <laughs> you know, the more you know. All right. <laughs> it's a play. All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> it's, a still a, it's still a stupid, yeah. stupid story, but whatever. I'm Wait, buy you a ticket. play of Christine? No, no Sound of Music. Oh. oh. This is oh. us. <laughs> yeah, this is us. Us right here, all of us. God, Which we're going to get into our, uh, you know, how would... Can we beat our doppelgangers? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Fuck yes. Yeah, that bitch ain't got shit on me. Fuck Before yeah. we get into that, <laughs> right here is what we're reviewing tonight. Yes. Black on Black Love. Go check out the song after the episode by the Queen, Queen Latifah. And us, doppelgangers. You guys ready for that shit? The irony of you naming it Black on Black Love. <laughs> Listen, it works. D- does it not work? It doesn't work at all. <laughs> does it not work? No, <laughs> not for this movie. There's black love in this movie, Mick. There's lots of black love in this movie. I, I don't. I crazy. I don't. The people I are crazy. I don't know how to answer. I don't know how to answer it. You only pay attention to the white family in that movie, Mick. Did you miss yep. the whole point? <laughs> 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 Call the police. I mean, fuck the police. Bye. That <laughs> was fucking hilarious, by the way. That was fucking hilarious. Oh. I loved that part. This whole I movie, you. I love. Yes. It's fantastic. It really yes. is. But before we get all into the movie and uh what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> oh, I think James having it. He's fixing it though. But James, um, James is clicking. <laughs> Doppelganger, right? Can you yes. beat your own doppelganger? Oh, here he is. Hang on, I'll let him get. I'll let him get situated this time. Let's, let's bring in James's <laughs> doppelganger for this one. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I, I think I could take my doppelganger. Yeah, hundred percent. You, you think you're hundred percent? I'm taking hundred percent yeah. easily. Yeah, no, not easily for me. But uh, you can't take out your doppelganger, really? No, I said I can. I'm just saying not easily. Like it's going to be a fight. But now, my, my okay. Going. My question is: Are they in the shape that we're in now? Oh, that's, are a, they in better that's shape. a good fucking quote. Yeah, don't they? Yes, because they do have the same pains, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no idea if James knows if we're live or not, but I'm loving every second of this. <laughs> but I don't know. So they do have the same pains, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they get pregnant at the same time. Mm-hmm. Kids, yeah. So they have to be in the same shape. Yeah, uh, I don't know though. I think Cause so. Because the, the, the doppelganger father seemed way stronger than the regular one. Well, he seemed more brutish than the regular one, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, he That's was so definitely more brutish. stronger. I I don't think he was restraining, like having that preserving yeah. himself or someone else, like just having that just pure strength, like not no limit. Okay. Yeah, the father sure. seemed timid and 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 more mm. geekish, like you know, uh, mm-hmm. whereas like you know. The, the doppelganger is like, no, <laughs> like he's yeah. ready to roll right um, off the rip, right off rip. He was ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. The daughter in this. Yes. Oh, just, just, just let's, where do you want to start, man? Cause th- you can dissect every portion of this movie and it's done so well. Yeah. Or you can dissect none and just watch it as a general audience member and still absolutely <clears throat> love it. That's why yeah. I really like this. We're a review show. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, no, I, I get that. I'm just saying this is one I can introduce to just people that just generally just want to watch a movie and they, they're they not sitting there scratching their head like Christopher Nolan type <clears throat> shit. Good point. Mm-hmm. 
So you but can enjoy us, the we movie. Deep dive. <laughs> we must deep dive. That is oh, why yeah. you watch us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this, today was my first time actually getting to watch this, like, all the way through because every time I caught it, my wife was already watching it and she was like more than halfway through it. And I never finished it. I would just sit there for a little bit and then go do something else because I was like, I, I gotta watch this movie all the way through. I don't wanna I don't wanna see how it ends. I don't want to ruin it for myself like that. And holy shit, man. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what why did I let so much fucking time pass by? Mick, why did you let me let so much time pass by? No, 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 no. I've been I've been preaching Jordan Peele from the beginning. <laughs> uh, I love Jordan Peele. I'm so glad when he announced he was going to do a horror movie and and get out. I was excited. I love the guy as a filmmaker. Um, and I and and us is my favorite of his films. Mm. So I love it as a monster movie. He pays, and this this is the one where where when you watch Get Out, to me, he is the subtext is what's he the, is the story there, right? <clears throat> he has such a wonderful story written over it, um, but the subtext, everything he's trying to tell you, all of the racial divide in it. And one, it's 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 beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. That was a statement movie for him. His that was this that was the movie that made him and, and put him out. To me, uh, Nope was a great, scary sci-fi movie, where it, it was also more towards a statement. It was, I'm going to talk about, you know, you know, not that. Us doesn't have societal themes in it. Of course it does. Mm -hmm. But like there's more of a statement. This I felt like he was more enjoying himself. He was more, this is more, yes, there are societal themes in this, but this is his horror movie. He made a monster movie here and he had a fun time doing it. There's he pays homage to uh the Lost Boys in it, in that he films the opening scene in Santa Carla. Well, Santa Cruz, which is Santa Carla in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same, I think it's the same year that uh, The Lost Boys takes place. You know, mm -hmm. so like it's it's just like, you know, and all the different things that he's really, you know, doing send-ups to, it, he really played with it here. Like he really did such a wonderful job with making a horror movie, a true like beautiful horror movie in my opinion here mm -hmm. that that pays homage to hitchcock carpenter uh craven hooper um kubrick like he he, he like he touches down on almost all the big names in horror in this movie in some way uh mm -hmm. and, in, and but in a beautiful way while keeping to, true to his uh his vision and his story so I, I, I'm sorry. I just had to praise this a little bit. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no. Shit, you got more to say. Go. That's what we're here for. Is to, is to talk about it. Is to you know get a good discussion about it. I don't understand the hate for Jordan Peele and like movies like this because it's different. It's, it's um, original. It's uh -huh. a good story. It's it has gore in it. It's not overly gore, and I, I'm a gore whore. I love that shit, but it's not overly gory. But it's no. it's gory when it needs to be, like you when right. it needs to be. And it's important. It's done. It's like it's real. There's an art to it in this. Not saying that there's not with the gory movies, but it's a different type of art. It's a different type of art. It's more of a mind kind of thing, and it's just and it's more beautiful with this one. Uh -huh. And I was just like, what in the actual holy? Just sitting here watching this, right? I'm like, again. Sturdy, how the fuck did you not watch? This is one of those. Yes. How the fuck Same did you here. not watch this shit in theaters? I'll say, in yeah. fucking like, I wish I saw this in theaters. I think I saw it three <clears throat> times opening weekend because we saw it at the drive-in Friday, then saw it in theaters Saturday and Sunday. I could see yeah. why. Damn. 
This was like one thing that I really love about horror movies that I still can do. I think Paul, you asked me about it one time. We were talking about it, and my wife asked me one time too. Is like, can you separate yourself, like from as a film, like being, you know, I don't call myself a filmmaker anymore, but like having been a filmmaker, like, can you separate yourself <clears throat> from and just enjoy a movie? Uh -huh. Oh, me and you had that conversation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And and well, it's it's yeah, you can. I love when I can do it with horror movies. Because I do like being scared, right? Mm -hmm. If and it's very hard, but like when you really take the horror seriously, and it's done well, I like you can get me. And if you can really do that in trailers, you stick out to me. And mm -hmm. this is a trailer. I remember the trailer for this movie for us. It was one that like kind of got me a little bit. I was like, wow, that was that was like a deep cut trailer that was that was like really well done so i, I, I want to make mention of that too yeah this as a matter of fact <clears throat> i i just i want to see more of something like this this right here i'd like to see more of just obviously not the same exact story but it's a very very similar style or even if jordan peele plays off of this more just because I don't know what direction he would go, but I feel like he can go damn near anywhere. I mean, you still have all these freaking doppelgangers all over the place. Shit, the mother. Mm -hmm. But there's, yeah. I would go back and, and listen to some of his interviews of like when he wrote the story, what was he thinking? What, like, what was he watching or what was he? I think Village of the Dams is one he met. He, I, I'm pretty sure that was one he had, he had talked about. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I, I think he said invasion of the body snatchers from 78. That makes sense. Um, so, so like if you go back and watch some of his interviews, which is really good to do, like, especially because you're right, like this is a really good movie and you're not going to see more made exactly like it. Like not exactly, but you know, like yeah, I know what you mean. in the same way, because he's not doing it and it's not getting sequels and it's so, what do you do? So, like, go back and find what influenced it. And, like, mm -hmm. even so, I would say, if even if those aren't ones he mentioned, those are ones that stand out to me that have those similar vibe to this. Mm -hmm. That are really, really well done that I think can... can I think you'd really enjoy, for, you know, that will do the same. Mm. So, yeah, the Us was just so good, man. Everybody it did was. a great job in it. Mm. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> What were you saying, Paul? Or was that you that was going? Oh, I was just gonna say I I, I think his next movie is gonna deal with water, something with the ocean or something like that. Okay. Since he's kind really? of done Earth Earth One, you know, he did, you know, kind of a the Kurt Society's climate with Get Out, then he did Earth with uh us, and now he's done Nope with the sky. I think the next one is gonna have to do with the ocean. Ooh. Hmm. That's know. just me. That's me just thinking, you know. And I could be a hundred percent wrong, but in my mind, he, that's what I think he's going to do. He's trying. He's yeah. trying to get all the, uh -huh. the all the uh, subgenres of the areas. Yeah, like, and the elements. The, the, the elements. That's and shit. Yeah. That's and interesting. That's he said. He's that interesting of a guy. Yeah, I know. He is. He's cool. He doesn't drop any hints. Yeah. No. no. <clears throat> he said nothing to the effect where you might think. He's doing water. Mm -hmm. And I'm not putting that down. I think that's oh. a great theory because you're right. Like there's a pattern. Mm -hmm. You can pick out a pattern in move in his movies. Mm -hmm. I I see it a different way. None of it has been said or anything else. Nope. But that's a, like it's a Tarantino effects, in my opinion. Like it's it's a sign of a great filmmaker yep. that you were like, what's next? He's yeah. got to have it planned out. Like there's a connection somehow, yeah. you know, and, and they do that. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I love when filmmakers are that methodical. Mm -hmm. This makes me want to see his other movies. Like I've seen, I watched, um, get out. I haven't watched, I haven't seen it in a few years. So I would like to go back and watch that one. But I, I, so that one and, uh, Nope, I've never seen Nope, but I feel like I need to see it now. Cause this, 
was just fucking excellent. <laughs> I, I, I see. I see. Nope. That's the alien one that it kind of bothered me. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but I was like, the whole movie was just a girl running from an alien. But then she she ends up. I don't want to ruin it for you, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely watch Nope. Nope is. I'm, gonna, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I would. I, I would. I would definitely. You know what? Actually, I'll watch it with gonna, you. I'm going to push you <laughs> on this sturdy and the reason i'm going to push you is because you literally just said at the beginning of the show mick why did you make me wait so long to watch this <laughs> so, oh, I'm tell you, don't wait so long to watch nope it's that good i already have a plan that when i'm gonna watch it mick all right all right we had a discussion <laughs> earlier i just don't want you to review it and say that again because <laughs> i just told you watch it <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't mean i won't say it again or i'll just put the blame on somebody else <laughs> that's fair <laughs> fair Let's just see what was on oh. that episode that night. Oh, oh, this is such an amazing movie. This is like my 10th time seeing it. All right, you're the target. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did love the opener for this film because I know a lot of times we do talk about just the opening scene. Oh, just a little God. girl, you know, going through it. Like the tension yeah. builds and the cinematography alone. Like it's just everything about it is kind of intoxicating. Like you're just sucked in yeah. from the very beginning because you're like, what yeah, is this happening? Is what is yeah, this? The- the way and so and so she was near the uh, mirror and turned around and the in the back of her head was still facing. <clears throat> I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" I, I thought the yeah. movie was going to be paranormal. As soon as I seen that, I was like, "Oh shit!" She walked into like some haunted <laughs> building or something, right? Oh my some god! Some demon. It freaks you out right away, and then um and then to play it out. And I don't know, sturdy, how much you want to get to or towards the reveal or what you're supposed. And, and oh, where you no, want to go, spoilers. Truly pretend spoiler. So you can spoil whenever you want. If you're on a good top, just keep it rolling. Keep yeah, it we, going bounce, we bounce so. all over the movie. We'll go yeah. beginning, oh. middle, beginning. But I love this beginning where the montage of like after that event and she's found on the beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, it you know, like she's going through the therapy, and like it's like looks like it takes years and years and years, and then she wakes up. And she's an adult, so it seems like okay, she's back to normal. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Only to get that goddamn twist, man. Yeah, that's twist. Such a beautiful crazy. twist. Oh my god, that she was the one. She switched out. And mm-hmm. the one talk, and the other one, the real one, talked like that because from her choking her, right? Yeah, the squeezing, her. squeezing her throat. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So Can we that just say that just made it even creepier? Like when she it talked did. About- yeah, you had like, to learn yeah, how to talk, talk. right? Like, yeah, fuck, man, that shit just <laughs> fucking crazy. Fuck that right there, and, though. And how she accepted it at the end too, where she was re- she remembered, mm-hmm. but then she just looked at her son and just went and just smiled. Well, can I ask you this? There's a con- there's like a, a movie theory that the son may be the doppelganger too, like in an accident the one may have gotten burned the actual son may have gotten burned in a you know when he was a baby or something and she went and switched him out oh shit yeah that's I've, I've just, no that's not confirmed i right, don't right. know that for sure Dude, that would be crazy. That so i want to hear what you guys think Speaking about it, if that's the case that real one that fucking freaky little fucker <laughs> Making all those clicks and creepier, shit, man. but yeah. but that's but hold fucking, up, hang oh, on. That sister, that sister had like a fucking yo. How she stared without blinking and shit, yo. She was creepy. Let's let's like, hang on. Let's stay on the sun theory really quick. I, 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 I like drop I like, that bitch. I like that because if you think about it too, you have remember the end where he's like at the setup. It's a setup. He's walking yep. back. Or the one kid walks into the fire, and then. Earlier in the movie, also earlier in the movie, where he's after, or no, not even too much earlier, the scene where they leave the uh, the house, <clears throat> the um, their their old friends' houses, when the mother goes back in to get the keys, he he hears her make that noise or whatever, and he like pauses for a minute when she was killing the killing the girl again, oh. the girl that she thought was dead the first time, mm-hmm. and he like looked, so I felt like he he knew he knew something, he knew that no, or just from hearing the noise or whatever. <sighs> But him being the double doppelganger, that would be crazy. 
So it's just sort it of- would make sense because how she was talking like a baby born uh, in a fire and all that stuff. It would make sense that she was telling her that and you had the baby that got burnt and you switched it out or something. And oh, that's what shit. set her. But that was like the part of the theory was she, that's why she never came before the baby was born. Like, because she had another baby before that and they never attacked because, like, she's the one that led the charge, right? Mm -hmm. and so at any point, they were listening to her since she was a child, mm -hmm. you know, because she could talk. Mm -hmm. So um, at any point, uh, she could have led that charge to go after oh, them. Oh, shit. So, the, you know, the, the theory that I had heard, and again, it was a fan mm -hmm. theory, that it was when the baby was switched out and that was the baby like because she didn't want the, the remember she tells the story mm -hmm. she didn't want the daughter and then she talks about the baby boy mm -hmm. and, and wanting the baby boy it was that's what mm -hmm. sent her off to this whole plan okay. wow you know and I, as far as fan stuff goes Thank like that like fan theories i do enjoy that one me too yeah yeah, yeah me sometimes too. i'm like those are fun you know wreck on it yep. a little bit you know i think we can all do that i don't think there's anything wrong with that no. the acting can we talk about oh. the freaking acting well, for peter nwango first of all just all the awards for her oh yeah. my gosh yeah let's start with her amazing <laughs> i mean yeah. ju just the scene just the scenes where like because she had the creepiest character i'd say her oh i don't know that no, the, the that daughter, daughter the double ganger daughter yeah the tethered daughter which oh what? my god and she would smile and just start yeah. running. oh see that that didn't really see i'll give credit to no, the dad i like the dad his the dad he act like a um <gasps> Like, <laughs> I love yeah, movie. yeah. I see that in another movie. What was a movie where they did that? They just dropped their jaw and they just made a loud sound like that. It was like a whole bunch, it was like a whole village. They're like, whoa, oh, whoa. And they just There's, I know bunch. what you're talking about. I can't remember the name of the movie though. It reminded me of that. I was like, the fuck? And he was acting like a caveman too, like he was dumb. He was like, just like 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 Herman like Munster <laughs> just fucking walking around. Dude. So, oh my god, but it's still about the movie is great. But I liked how she had signals like she knew how she was like, put her hand yeah. up, like the sun. She was like, and the kid was like, Boof, takes off. The daughter's just like, okay, boom. And they all just scattered and shit. I was like, what the fuck? It's like a military <laughs> raid here. What the hell's going on? You know what? I oh, that's another confused. Thing? That's the one confusing part about this. The doppelganger thing is supposed to be a government thing. Yeah. So why didn't the government on the news know what's going on? Like, it was, so it's kind of implied, like with those tunnels, that you know they it was a lost project. So it's something they stopped doing, but it just continued naturally. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that's or that's what it seemed like to me, especially with the rabbits and them being down there and them talking about the tunnels mm -hmm. being ex yeah. old. You know, I think it's and it's never really there. supposed to be fully explained. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I mean, it's the government. When do I ever tell you like the hundred percent truth? <laughs> <laughs> they sure do all my fucking they're taxes. Like, God damn! <laughs> they're like, we don't know how that happened. We don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, it's a, like this from beginning to end. Though, like this, this movie keeps you going, and and yeah. the imagery throughout is mm -hmm. terrifying. Yeah, it's beautiful. I I, I want to mm -hmm. visit that set that they used for um the mirror maze. Yeah, that whole scene and going down this mm -hmm. escalator and shit. I'm like, that just yep. looks beautiful to me. I could live in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that scene it was nice. Like when uh, you go down the escalator, then it's the hallway. It looks like there's like uh like you're in a mall, you know, those mm -hmm. those where you get sit at like it's like a row of them, but there's oh, gas yeah, between them, but then there's same. rooms. You're like, what the fuck? is this place you're like you know it's like a laboratory or like you know fuck, fuck all that james that's that's a great content center content creation center right there right. Yeah, there you go all in room there has to be enough bathroom right out the spaces yes yeah, studios make a whole bunch of studios Shit. make that uh, a whole make a bunch of content down there but no that was yeah, I mean, you know how much but just think about that though 
Just think about just that just that area there. You could even add the mirror shit if you want to. But from there to going downstairs, there's so much you could do with that. Horror stuff, horror related stuff, easily. I mean, well, Jordan Peele did an amazing job at it, well, but you know what I mean? Yeah, like the saw, like saw shit. Yeah. 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 Paranormal type. Mm-hmm. Anything. Oh my God, man. I want to do that. Oh. So this is we both your first watches then? Yeah. Yeah. First time watching this. Yep. Man, I, I love it then. All right. So it was shocked. I was really surprised. I was like, wow, this is fucking awesome. So then let's let's just go. I want to focus on you guys for a second then. Let's turn it on you. Since oh. it's your first time watches, what are some of the big things that stood out to you in this movie, um, interaction wise or or whatever? Like, cause th- cause a lot of this stuff, like for me, like I love it. Like I, I love all the interactions in this. I think they're fantastic. I love the imagery. I love the death scenes. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I think they're really well done. So I, I love the one on one when the the one the tethered was talking to the other one. I was like when how they zoom up to him like really close and her and that raspy like <gasps> how she talks really slow and that scene right there you're like okay it's like going slow but because you can't talk so she's getting the words out but it's also the tone at the same time it's like it's like gives it like creepiness. And shit, you're like, yep. yeah, you're like this interaction is cool. Now the what the father they try to put like made him like a little goofy, you know that his his mm-hmm. his interactions with shit was like, oh come on come here, you know like a little silly type like shit. Fun. Yeah, fun. but then like then uh, what makes it the fucking kids? Yo, even a, t- a tether the tether twins were creepy. Yeah. Hmm. Not as much as the uh, the main character girl, the little girl uh, doppelganger. That was the worst one. She was the creepiest. She's so creepy, man. That even when even when uh, they washed her off the car and she was like bent in half in the tree, she's sitting there reaching out, going <laughs> and laughing, trying to grab. I was like, God damn! I know, right? You don't even cry and feel pain or nothing. You just sitting there like <laughs> trying to grab. Him. I was like, and- wow. That scene right there, James, that scene right there was another one that kind of was just like, even though you kind of knew then, but it kind of confirmed it even more. Because had that been the regular mother, right, she would have tore that girl up. But she just kind of just, she would have finished her off, basically. But she just kind of just let her sit in the tree and die. And then when her when the sun was up and backwards in the fire, she was upset about that. When, um... Shit, when she went to go get the car keys, she killed that one girl. She had no problem doing that. Yeah, shit. no problem at all. And then that's when you, you know, when that, that voice came out. So there was scenes like that I really enjoyed. And the way they used the music in this movie was fun. Oh, this, yeah, the, the music yeah. in the background. Yeah. Every song they used in this movie was used at the right time in the right scene. Just the right. Everything, the right set, everything was like fucking perfect. I don't know what the fuck you did, Jordan, but thank you. <laughs> because it, it was just one of those things where it was just like, holy shit. Like, yes, yeah, did I got five on it. They did the, um, oh, what was the song they played? Fuck. Oh, in the beginning, the uh, old no, school one? No, no, towards the end, towards the end. Oh, the end. The oh. Twins House. Oh, it was, um, fuck. Be- before Fuck the Police. The Beach Boys. Yes. Uh, 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 Good Vibrations. Yes. Yes. yes, There you go. There you go. Just just that scene alone. The violence in that scene with that song was so cool. It was. It worked in such a weird way. I did chuckle, though, when they said when she when she was like, like she's bleeding out her throat. She's like, Whatever Alyssa called the police instead of Alexa, you know. Yeah. But then I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck the police. I was like, oh yes. shit. <laughs> anyway, I was like, I nice. Laughed. I laughed at that. I did laugh at that part. But oh, the God. scene before, but the scene like right before it though, when the other song is playing and all this stuff is going on. Usually when music like that is playing and crazy stuff's going on, I'm laughing, but the way he did it in this, it wasn't yeah. funny at all. Like it wasn't you know, there was nothing to laugh at yeah. until the fuck the police part. He was like, "All right." He was like, "It, it seems like he he he's just like 
All right, I creeped you guys out enough. I seriously you guys out enough. Now I'm gonna give you a quick laugh. I mean, let, let me let me let me ease the tension some, and then I'm gonna yeah. bring it right fucking back. And he did right back the right yeah. whole fucking movie. He did it so fucking so well, so fucking well. Like we need more of this shit. Listen, directors, filmmakers, all that shit. I'm not saying do what he did, but definitely try your best and try to be different. You know, I definitely know. try your. Best. I think I, I think be honestly, caliber, right? Be different. I think he, I think he's telling he is 100 hardcore horror fan. That's why it's so good. He's taking elements all over the place. It's not like one director goes, "Oh, I like horror," but they only like like uh noir horror or something. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So you're not saying everything. I think yeah. Jordan Peele loves all of it. All of it, and he just absorbs it all. He goes, "Oh, I like what they did in this. Oh, I like how they do this." And yeah. he's just mixing it into a big pot, <clears throat> and he's making his own shit. He's like, "I know what the fans want. I know how to scare people. I know how to make shit intense. Mm-hmm. How to fuck with your brain. I could do a twist that you didn't know it's coming." You know, he just did everything right. I think I, he's underrated. I don't know why people, like you said in the beginning. People hate on him. I think he's doing a really good job at his movies. All the movies that are coming out. Agreed. Agreed. So, Amazing job. Did we rate? Uh, did you guys rate this when I was gone? By the way. No, I was actually going to. No, nothing. Yeah. But uh, I thought I missed out. I was about to say I got to make sure I get my rating. <laughs> let's, let's dive into that right now. Now that you mentioned that, Jim Jamathan. Uh, boom. All right, it's a rare one. Nine. Ooh, I broke my eight. I went above the eight. Hey, man, it deserves it. It's totally a nine out of ten for me as well. Nine, you said, Paul? Yes, sir. I knew yours would be high. You're so fucking excited for this movie for like three weeks. (laughs) It's a nine for me. And it's on my top 100 essential horror movies to watch list. Awesome. Go check out that countdown, people. <laughs> Over on the scene snubs. Go check it out. Um, I'm giving this shit a 10. This was an excellent fucking phenomenal movie. This was just so good. It gave you damn near everything you wanted out of a horror movie. I mean, you could say everything you wanted. You got some fear. You got compat you got you it brought you through it brought you through I gave you everything you'd want from a movie. I'll say that. You were entertained, of course. It brought you through all the emotions, and then you just add horror into that element. You can even say you feel feel sorry for the tethered. You can feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah. Because they are down there like... Miserable. (laughs) Miserable. Like, we're underground people, and we can feel what you guys are doing. That's why some are playing chess and stuff, and they're copying. Because it's like they feel they're doing everything they're doing. So it's like... that's and why. That's why I didn't understand. Why did that work for everybody? It worked for the kid. That's how he got the other one to walk backwards in the fire. He was like, "They." He was like, "Oh, they do what you do," and he's like, "Because they didn't. Everybody didn't click onto it. You got to remember that everybody didn't click onto it. Everybody a lot of them it. were fighting, and if the if you're fighting them, and they They're have no you. inhibition, and they know exactly what you're gonna do." And you do have an ambition and insecurity, and you know, because like you've been living a life and experiencing, they're probably going to get the best of you. Mm. Not me though, because I'm Batman. No. <laughs> that kid, that kid, so that little boy was the smartest one. He's like, "Don't worry, I'll take care of my guy." Just stands well, up. He's yeah. like, "La la la," walks you gotta, backwards. <laughs> you got to remember though. You got to remember though. Earlier when they were in the closet, and he was kind of copying him in the closet. Remember when he lifted his mask up? Yeah. And they pulled his mask down when the kid, you know, and just little things like that. Like, that's the thing I love about this movie. And the thing I love about movies when they do this is little shit like that. They show it the closet thing or another thing about the closet. When the, when the original kid got stuck in the closet earlier in the movie, oh, the little or whatever. game, the little trick with so the toy car. When, you know, when they're, you know, when they're all splitting up or whatever, and his mother tells him, do your trick, show him your magic trick. So he goes yeah. in the closet, puts the little. Uh, was it an ambulance or was it a mail truck? It's, Whatever it's like it was. A little, it's like a little toy truck. Yeah, some kind of Yeah, puts truck. it in the door so that the door doesn't, you know, of course, so it doesn't lock him in there. And 
after he does whatever he does in there, you know, they're talking about whatever he gets out, takes a little thing and closes the door. And of course he remembers that the kid's going to copy him. So when he does this whole thing and walks backwards, he knew that he was going to do the exact same thing. And he had him walk into the fire. And again, just small things like that. It's so fucking awesome. They do that. And it's so freaking important because it's, it doesn't feel, he didn't waste any scenes in this movie at all. Mm -hmm. There was no wasted scenes. And that's fucking important, especially for when a movie's two hours, that's important. You don't want to have wasted scenes. You don't want to have boring scenes. There was no wasted scenes. There was no I, boring. And scenes. you think back of it when you find out that she was, she's really the tethered. Mm -hmm. Even the scenes in the beginning make sense when they're on yeah. the beach. Why she didn't talk to the other one? She goes, "Oh, I don't really talk to people," because uh, yeah. she's like shut down. She's like not social. She's not out there like a normal person. Yeah, yeah. and then they even like kind of mentioned that like something happened to me when I was younger. Yeah, and uh, but they actually give it away that she's the one in the very first scene and like not in the very first scene in in her very first scene uh lapita nuanga when she traps the spider because she traps the spider remember she puts the cup on the spider mm -hmm. yeah she's the one she trapped the girl Ah, oh, oh, so it's like a, it's a, it's like a foreshadowing of like she's somebody oh. who was trapped. Like she didn't kill the spider, but she trapped the spider. Wow, okay. and see, and again, shit like like that, yeah. I would never even thought of, and stuff like that you don't think of. Then you're just yeah. like, oh my no, God, I didn't I think, think about know. that. Mm -hmm. And I think but that's I, why mm. the boy is afraid of the closet. Oh shit. Because he'll feel trapped like he was. Yeah. Mm, damn. But See, okay. So, but but the but the thing with the boy though is now you're, you're talking about the tether. Or you're talking about both because they're both afraid of it. It seemed. Yes. So now let's think about it. All right. But well, because here's I think we're I think we're I think we're going on the same page. I think yeah. we are. <laughs> if they were swapped at birth though, how would he remember? Or no, they. Oh no no! Because no, she said they yeah, said they were swapped. There was an accident. You're there right. Was a fire after. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will say, after rewatching this for this is probably the ninetieth time for me, I feel like I caught her when they're heading to the lake in the car together. It sounded like her voice was changing back, like she had a lisp almost, like she learning how to talk, like. Oh, when well, she's getting closer and closer to the beach, like it was yeah, coming out. Like mm -hmm. her, her and her child was coming back out, like, oh, I can't talk normal. So, like that opening scene, she says a couple lines where she sounds a little uh, like just a little bit where I was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Like, yeah, I mean, that's gotta be there's gotta be a lot of fear there, always yeah. right. of what's down there, you know. Right. So oh, yeah. close to where it changed in the first place. Yeah. So. Even, I'll say on the way to the beach. Remember when they the accident? They see the ambulance in front of them. Yeah. Which I wonder if the ambulance. The little, so that little truck was probably an ambulance truck. Is that foreshadowing the ambulance there? And then the ambulance that saves them at the end when they're driving away at the end. Hmm. Jordan Peele, you're That's a like, fucking oh, genius. It might be the same ambulance. I don't know. No, not the same one. But I'm just saying, I'm the one that held the closet door open, which helped the little boy. Oh. Get out of there. And then you see an ambulance later in the movie. You see the one with the guy, you know, when his chest is all bloody or whatever. And he's yeah, he got stabbed like three times. Yeah, that from, same sign. It was probably from same, scissors. He had the yeah. same sign, the eleven eleven shit. Yep. When from when uh, she was a little girl, mm -hmm. and from when the boy seeing them, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the boy, when the boy sees the, the guy holding his arms out bleeding. Remember when he draws that picture? His mother asks about that, mm -hmm. and he's just like, "I don't know." Yeah. Shit, man. There's so much. There's yeah, this so movie much. is just. You gotta this watch is one of, again, I, again. I gotta watch this again. <laughs> I gotta watch this a couple more times. I already know it. I know I missed something. I know there's something there that's in plain sight that I didn't see, and that's another thing I like about movies like this is it's like, it's, it's almost like it's a must for a rewatch just just because there's so much in this movie. Oh yeah, all of them, all of Jordan Peele's movies. You have to go back and rewatch them to find stuff. Jeez, I like that. I mean, the Get Out alone, like you have to watch it like three or four times just to get 
and then look up lists, <laughs> you know, yeah. just to get everything you threw in there. Uh, yeah. And nope is like no shortage either. Mm -mm. No. Shit, man. You There's don't realize how quickly it's an alien movie until you really rewatch it. Then you're like, oh shit, you actually see it this early. And yeah, yeah. You know, he's, you know, he's, he's, true. he's, I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to watch that, but I know when I'm going to start it. Don't worry. Don't worry. But because there is no wheel tonight, or I mean, yeah, there's no wheel tonight. We're going to start spinning that next Thursday. And that's only because, uh, I feel like we have to kick off. It's going to be a CFF wheel, Carolina Fear Fest, which I'll pop some shit up about that in a minute. But uh, we're going to kick it off with April Fool's Day on the 4th. Yeah, I know it's a Monday the 1st and all that other stuff, but I don't do – no. And this is the original, I hope. Yeah, of course. Oh, thank um, God. It has Jesus. to be the original. There's no way in hell Fuck I'm doing that everything. remake, man. That was bad. Fair. But, yeah, we're kicking it off with uh, – that movie right there, and I can't wait. Sweet. April Fool's. Day. Have you ever seen that, Paul? Mm -mm. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, no, no, nice. nobody, do not talk to anybody about that movie. Do not okay. look that movie up. Do not. Okay. I'm serious. Don't look at anything. Just no. watch it. Okay. I, I went in blind, too, and it's worth the Trust me. Okay. Yeah. I trust you guys. <laughs> and I hope you're here next Thursday to review it with us. Okay. <laughs> and uh, for you out there, I hope you are uh, going to come to Carolina Fear Fest. Link is in the description and come uh, come hang out. I'm going to be there. Mick's going to be there. I will be there. She's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be she's gonna be there so, yeah. that means you guys should be there too it's gonna be a great time it's gonna be a film fest there's gonna be all kinds of shit panels vendors awesome amazing amazing dope vendors as a matter of fact and just a bunch of cool ass people like us so be bring some, your asses some there people, get some autographs buy exactly some merch. exactly Egg. Exactly. I'm all in. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be there. I got. I got to check out one of them this uh, one of these years. You do. You do. Next. I never. I never been to a con. Ever. Uh, oh, we got to change that. Yeah, we got to change that. Because I'm lazy. I don't like walking. I don't like walking around. I told Mary, listen. I'm still kicking next year. I'm still rolling through. <laughs> Jesus. And they let me. We should do our. We should renew our vows at Aww. CFF 2025. Wow, that'd be cool. There you go. That would be cool. That, that They'll let awesome. you. You hear that, people? You can go to CFF CFF in 2025, and you get to see him renew yeah. his vows. Hell yeah! So if they let me. <laughs> On a and serious he, note, though, and he might play. Him. He might play one of his movies that he was in during uh, reception. No, <laughs> oh, that'd be beautiful. I, I <laughs> subscribers on that one. <laughs> that would be beautiful. And we are, we already have we already have the wedding song picked out, Nick. Don't worry. Oh god. <laughs> but no, serious. On a serious note, though, guys. So this is for my brother Henry. His so he has a coworker that lost his wife. No. This I don't know when she passed, but they have two autistic, two autistic twin sons, and of course they need help. So if you can donate, please help. If you cannot donate, either way, if you can at least share the link out there. And again, link is in the description. I'm gonna drop both of these links in the comment as well. But yeah, it's you know if you could help, we gotta help each other out, right? Yeah, share it in our group chat too, please. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, back to yeah. us. <laughs> this is us. This is us. I'm the fat sister. Wait, what? <laughs> you're, you're the you're the black brother. You're the, the white brother. brother. You're the white brother. <laughs> you're the cracker brother. And Can I the, be the boat? No, you're the stepdad. Can I be the you're, boat? You're the you're the Guatemalan stepdad. Okay. Guatemalan stepdad. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't be the the slick hair white dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're that guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Where's Mandy Moore? We need to get her in here. <laughs> yeah, you're that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. yo! I I know I told you guys in the group chat, but so um. <laughs> 
Was that you again? <laughs> Who's over there? No, no, no. I put I, I pushed uh, something on my uh my desk, so it oh. made like a dragon sound. He's touching himself under his Mick, desk. Mick, Mick thought he was fucking losing his mind. <laughs> you should have just let him think that. <laughs> I would have. I was going to. But Paul fucking heard it too. He was like, it wasn't me. <laughs> so, but if it just let, if Mick was just losing his mind and everybody just staring at him, I would have let it go. Oh my God. Oh, man. That's so funny. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> what was what? That was my favorite. That was a oh, but what I was gonna say out. is, because uh, I was saying this in the, in the group chat a lot. But Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey Two was fucking awesome. I check was that out too. so many movies I gotta watch. So impressed by like, because Mick, he was somebody who. We've had these conversations, had him on the lives, had him behind the scenes. But basically, with these movies that are coming out with filmmakers that are just jumping on him, he's like, he just wants them to be good movies and not just doing it just because you can do it. This one right here, they redeemed themselves from the first one. And you can kind of, you see why they did the first one the way they did the first. Obviously, budget and all that other stuff, but they got a budget with this one and they got a story with this one. I'm not going to spoil it here, but, uh, that shit was fucking awesome. That shit was fucking awesome. And um, I can't wait to see. I want to see that again ASAP. I want to see that yeah. shit again ASAP. I'm, I was I'm pissed off. It's a fucking limited release. But no, that next Winnie the Pooh three better be in theaters like the real way, the right way, because they deserve it. Oh yeah, I seen that earlier. It's, uh, all this Hollywood shit. Part three. This is what I want to say too. With all this Hollywood shit, like your guys' subpar movies, I think you need to like work your way back up to theater level. Maybe just start putting your shit out just on streaming. Cause now you're just throwing shit out there just because you know fans will go and watch it, but it's just it's after watching that yesterday, and I'm not saying it's the greatest movie in the world because it's not that, but just the improvement from one to two, and then you watch like these big name movies with this huge budget, and they say they go from one to two. And I'm like, how do you fucking decline that that much? You had a bigger budget with this one, but these guys they had. Let's I'm just throwing this out there. Of course, a hundred dollars to make this first movie and a thousand dollars to make the second movie. And it looks like they had your budget to make this second movie, and you had their budget to make this second movie. What? Where's the? What the fuck? Cut the bullshit. Give us good shit, mm-hmm. or shit like this. You know, where Jordan Peele puts passion into this because this is dope. This this movie was so fucking. Good. Oh my god, I can't get over how good this movie was. I mean, listen, we, can't, we can't. I'm not putting I mean, all blame on the on the filmmakers. I'm not putting all blames on the studios either because listen, filmmakers that can do what. Uh, Jordan Peele can do in no, planning no, no. and putting this much detail and planning into it are few and far between as well. And I, I realize that there's a lot of opportunity afforded to do it, and that you know Jordan Peele worked his way up, you know, and to be able mm-hmm. to do that. So like, great, and I, you know, I'm glad he was because it's awesome. But. And, uh, and and to the filmmaker's point, they're not getting the chance to do that because they're being thrown in. Like, they might make, like, a really good movie mm-hmm. and then get thrown into a big blockbuster. I think that happened with, like, uh, what was her name? Zoe Chow, who directed Nomad and then was thrown into Eternals. Oh, damn. Which was, like, what are you doing? Like, it just doesn't mesh. And, they, and or, you know, like, there's, there's plenty of other examples I can... They're like these award-winning filmmakers, or these filmmakers that make deep, personal movies that are fantastic mm-hmm. character pieces, and it's like, oh, they won an award! Boom, here we go. We're gonna get them this. They just did that with the director of Godzilla uh, minus one. They just signed them over at CAA. Mm-hmm. They're gonna throw them on something, and it's gonna mm-hmm. fuck it up. I know it. Damn. You know, and and it's because they're going to throw him on something because he got an award and Mm -hmm. he deserves to be on something, but they're not going to throw him on the thing that his strengths for him, his strength. They're going to throw him on whatever they want to cash grab on at the moment. Uh, That's stupid. Uh huh. That's That's real. It's it's ass backwards because it's like, why wouldn't you? You would think it's like, hmm, okay, I I have this great director now that's signed with us. These are his strengths. I know his strengths a trillion percent. I should put him with his strengths so 
I know we want this money and these cash grabs, but if I put them with his strengths, how are we not going to get this fucking money? How's money not going to just keep pouring in if this guy's doing his strengths? And then on top of that, he could do what he did with minus one with just this much money? What? But no, we're going to put him over here on this movie with this big ass budget that is a cash grab that we know the movie sucks. And we know this isn't his strengths at all. We're just kind of putting his name on it to sell some more tickets. Mm hmm. I'm not saying he's not going to touch it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about filmmaking. I'm just saying I'm, that that doesn't make any fucking sense. That's setting yourself up. Whatever that's setting not only the director, that's setting a lot of people up for failure. Like, I feel if it's a team, organization, whatever, you put people at their strengths where they work best, where they can thrive, because then everybody thrives. Well, I mean, it, it sucks for the filmmakers because when the filmmakers get bumped and they they have this thing that like the Eternals, like, let's take that, let's keep using that example, like, mm -hmm. like the Eternals, which bombs, because it's not the right fit, it just doesn't work, it's a Marvel movie, we don't want the character study, we don't, I'm sorry, we just, it's not what we want, like, I didn't go see Godzilla and Kong, because I want a character study, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, like, yeah, I want the mindless fun, yeah, you know, like, and, and that's, it's just, do not, do not put the director of Godzilla minus one on the next legendary Godzilla or the monster verse movies, because mm -hmm. that's not the right fit, you mm -hmm. know? Um, you know it, it, so, so it's, it's, to me, it's like, I don't know. It's just, it, it's, I mean, it may be, I, I, I don't want to say it's not the right fit like that. That's not fair either because anything can happen. What I'm saying is historically we've seen a lot of it get tanked. And then these directors go back, and then they make amazing things. They mm -hmm. do and a lot of times because they are still really talented filmmakers. But it, they're gonna—it's gonna be harder for them. Yeah, because this representation is gonna be like, well, we're not gonna make anything on your indie stuff. So and that's what's <laughs> fucked up about it. And their IMBD—they should have for movies that they get thrown into. It shouldn't—it should have their name on it, but it should have like a next to it. No, it should say <laughs> studio. So you know it's a studio movie right. that they threw them into it. But yeah, if it's their it own movie, it's just their name. You're that, so if it's good, you're like, oh, he that's his movie. But then the shitty one is a studio. You're like, that's why that's crap. Yeah, because they just threw him in there. Put their hands all over it. Put his name. <laughs> yeah, they put their hands all over that shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a. It's just so weird how that is. That doesn't make sense. Nah, like, it's, money it's all money. about the money, man. They want the I money. know, but it, it almost sounds like you're trying to put a VHS into a Blu-ray player. I'm like, why would you do that when you have a Blu-ray player right there and that's going to work perfect? Well, it's just the same thing with the actors. Whoever's the hot shit at this time, where you got another actor, it's, it'll fit the better the part better. But no, they want the big name. And they'll put the big name in there just to sell the tickets. Yeah. Then yeah, they I find out their movie bomb. Why? Because the acting sucked. Because... <laughs> I, that 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 person did not convince me for that character at all. Uh, you know, so fair, very. Yeah. That's why I mean, and I and I'll give it to this. Like, uh, there's a lot of actors who are very specific about their brand. Mm -hmm. You know, like what am I going to pick? What like what am I going to be in? And I, you know, it's it's it works in some ways. Like The Rock knows what his range is. Yeah. Yeah, he you know, does. John Cena, I think, knows what his range is. You know, and uh, <laughs> I don't think J-Lo knows what her range is. No. That's a whole <laughs> different thing going on right no, now. No, her, her ego, she goes, I could be the fucking best actors, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, don't go into those so movies. Funny. Stick to your fucking <laughs> stupid ass. Oh my I God. mean, she was okay in Cell. So, well, actually, to take that back, the, the good thing about Cell was the, uh, the art, the fucking cinematography. Cinematography was yeah, that shit wasn't was bad in that movie though. I like right. the dude from oh. private uh, private pile. I forget that actor's name. I'm so bad with names. No, Vincent that sounds, real. That, that sounds you. like it could I be a it. porn. Private, private pile. pile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could probably I, that I, that had to be a title for a porn movie. Private pile. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> pile not uh. private. My fault. That's part two. <laughs> <laughs> Private pile. Oh, oh, man. Man. That's fucking funny, Paul. Thank you for that. But Adam, <laughs> part, another one. They got Adam yeah. Sandler. Jesus. He knows his uh mm -hmm. his range too. Yeah, he, he has a pretty good range. Well, 
Adam like, Sandler will venture out, and I'm glad when he does, because when he does venture out, he does a really good fucking job. Yeah. There's like a few movies he ventures out into like more serious roles. But when he knows he needs to like is like kids want like a new car or something, like he knows what to make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, Grown ups three. <laughs> Grown ups three. Uh how how Halloween Halloween or whatever the hell. Halloween you know, part two or Ruby Halloween. Yeah, Ruby Halloween. Yeah, who yeah, that's it. Love that shit. I was impressed by Uncut Gems. Oh, they're make, they're making uh, Happy Gilmore too. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we're not. Excited. I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I'll watch it. No, I still watch this movie. I used to be a huge Adam Sandler fan. Uh, Just over. Like I, I used to have the CD with uh, his uh, music when he used to sing on stage, like piece of shit car and all that Hell stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I watched his stand up Saturday Night Live. I was a big fan. Hey, yeah, I used to like his movies back in the day. I mean, yeah. we, when I, I first seen, when I, I, I forgot well, how old I was, when I first seen Happy Gilmore, I was laughing so hard I fell off the couch. Oh, yeah. I did. I, my, I, I thought it was the funniest Sandler movie. Shit. was Airheads, I think, is the first one I saw with him in it. No, I think my, my Air, Happy Gilmore, Air, then it was uh, Billy Madison. The then I seen I seen Airheads, too. Then little Nicky came out, Waterboy. All those fucking shit. I, I watched like almost everything. Hey, back in the day, man, they really hit you, right? Little, little Nikki. They're coming out with Little Nikki too, part uh, part two also. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't know Aren't that. You? Yeah, he has a son. I don't know what the fucking movie's about, but God, it's God, like, man. <laughs> why do we have to revisit fucking? And that's the same shit as the fucking. I know. That, that's what movie. bothers me. Yeah. Especially when a movie came out like 20 years ago, they're like, you know what? Let's, let's make a part two. You're like, what? Seriously? Probably the main actor is like walk, using a walker and you're going to fucking make a part two? Like, what the fuck's going on? 65 years later. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. I'm getting too old for this shit. What's yeah. I'm getting too fuck, old for this shit. Huh? I'm getting too old. <laughs> You were old, too old 40 movies ago. <laughs> I think I'll try to pitch Tom Arnold at Carolina Fear Fest that he should do The Stupids, the sequel. He's still huh. let's, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, Tom Arnold's going to be there? Yeah. yeah. You should piss him off. Bring up Roseanne. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the Stupids. Like, you still talk to Roseanne? <laughs> she lost oh, her she mind missed. lately, huh? We miss her. Don't do that. Please mm -hmm. don't do that. <laughs> All right, the stupid. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, people, and dolphins, we're gonna wrap this one up. All of our links are in the description. Make sure you guys go check out the scene slums. That's a really, really, really cool channel over there on YouTube and Facebook and the Discord and all that other cool shit. And check out Popcorn and Pints. We got some pretty cool people over there as well. Horror Research Thirty, Sturdo Vision. Tomorrow we're reviewing that Helen Keller movie. Oh, I can't wait. I can't believe I can't you found that. I cannot believe you found that. Oh yeah. I've seen that movie before. Jesus but um so you guys are I never oh, seen it. and we're doing a watch party. I'm doing a watch party tomorrow night at ten o'clock. Over on the scene slimes Discord, the Helen Keller movie, actually. I cannot wait. I'm gonna start doing these watch parties every you know when I'm, when I can. If anything's extra crazy, extra extreme horror, that's gonna be over on the sturdy the you got to come over to Horror Search 30 for that shit. I'm not doing that to the scene snobs. But for the. That is not crazy. We're all in. Absurd. No, no, not, no, no, no. No, not, no, no. You know what I mean? I mean, the, 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 the extreme horror is what I mean. That wild shit. I will play that over there. But the fun stuff, all that other stuff, boom, right over on Horror Search 30, or right over on the scene snobs. So be over there at 10 o'clock Eastern time and tune in while we watch the Helen Keller movie and then review it at midnight. It's going to be a grand old time, people. Love but uh, we're going to get out of here. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. And um, Peace. that's it. <laughs>